So in my first look at the Nexus 5 camera, I wasn't particularly impressed, but I've spent a bit more time with it over the last few days, and I have some observations, and I don't think it's the Nexus 5's camera's fault. I actually think all of the issues I was having really are down to the rubbish app that is shipped with Android. Now, why Google didn't make any major improvements, i.e. completely overhaul the Android 4.4 camera, is beyond me, because it needs it. So. The problems that I have really are its focus lock on time is rubbish. Most of the time it doesn't actually get the right focus. Apparently that's not in focus, it looks in focus to me. That's still not really in focus. Uh, I know obviously this is not the most ideal setup to be able to demo this, but this, this is really what I've noticed time and time again. It does not lock on properly at all. Its focus, uh, or focus hunting is rubbish, frankly, and it needs vastly better detection algorithms than it's currently got. In low light, it's passable, it, it's okay. But again, this is all down to the camera app itself, not the actual camera. Um, when I've used other camera apps, I've actually found things have improved quite a bit. The lock-on is faster, everything is generally better. And so it does seem that if you're not impressed with the Nexus 5 camera when you first get it, it's the app that's really causing your problems. The images do have a slight softness to them when viewed on the Nexus 5 screen. However, when sent across, looking at those raw images on my PC, that softness seems to have disappeared. So again, is there some weird problem going on there with the sharpening that they're applying in the gallery? Not too sure. I do think there might be a few bugs and kinks they're still trying to work out here. Now, one thing to note is that the, the app hasn't really changed that much. Uh, and so it's still fairly limited. They've made a few changes within Photosphere to make it better at detecting scenes, stitching everything together and so on. And obviously we still have the settings pop out here, which, does have this new HDR mode. Um, for my mind, this HDR plus mode makes not a bally difference, really doesn't. You'd be better off just taking a normal image and then popping it into Snapseed and hitting it with their new HDR filter. Um, HDR plus does not strike me as being particularly good. But again, when you've got a camera that is taking so long to lock on and so long to fire every frame, I'm not surprised the HDR plus isn't working very well. Um, realistically, we need to fire those frames quite quickly whilst adjusting the exposure to get great HDR because we don't want things moving or any extra camera shake getting in there. Um, for my mind, Google need to go back and try again with the uh, camera app. It simply isn't um, suitable um, and it really is. It's substandard in my opinion. Now, I did try Focal uh, or Focal app, um, but unfortunately the developer I think needs to uh, release an update because it's not working particularly well. Um, it, for instance, can't really interact with the camera particularly well, um, and it won't actually take the app. So the, probably the, the best hope we have for a replacement camera app on the Nexus 5 is going to be Focal. Um, but the dev needs to do a bit of work there, I think, to make it compatible with the Nexus 5. Overall, the camera really is a great camera when the camera app works properly. When it locks on beautifully, when you have a nice steady shot, the images are great. You'll be able to see some of them uh, linked from this uh, channel. I will put them on my Google Plus for you. Now, it's interesting that we have now the best Nexus, a Nexus camera we've ever had within the Nexus 5 but we still don't have a great camera app from Google. I sometimes wonder if part of the agreement they have with all of the hardware partners is to you know, not produce some elements of their system to be brilliant, do you know what I mean? They very much focus on the base operating system and you know, things like the camera app are almost an optional extra. Uh, if they didn't have to ship one, they probably wouldn't kind of thing. Um, and so it just feels like it's a case of, well, the camera app is there, like it, or don't use something else instead. And fair enough, you know, there are plenty of better camera apps out there. Focal is definitely one of the best camera apps out there. Um, but it just would have been nice if Google had spent a little bit of time really, really improving the camera app, especially when it's matched up with great camera hardware. It just feels like people will get a poor experience and it's not the hardware's fault. 
Let's just talk very quickly about the video camera. It shoots at 1080p. It's absolutely passable. The quality, in my opinion, in low light is absolutely excellent for a video camera. Very low noise, very good ISO, and very good exposure. And it does everything for you. You've got no focusing or anything like that. And even tapping the screen to focus does nothing. Um, so you are very much reliant on the uh, autofocus uh, algorithm that Google's got in the APK, uh, the camera APK. It's not brilliant. It does occasionally wobble off uh, and focus on things that it feels should be in focus when they shouldn't be um, but overall it's okay it does a great job more importantly though the actual output video images are excellent and very low noise really really nice and that's actually something I should say about the images generally even in low light the images are very low noise they've done a great job there with their noise reduction algorithm <laughs>